Hello, this is Anurag from ORB Academy. And we are thrilled today to announce the launch of our new indicator, which is the ORB Moon Indicator. Most of us who are using Nimbler TA understand the importance of the moon on any trading day. We are aware that the days when we have a warm that is void of moon or if we have moon in nodes are days of special activity. We look for these days to find our tops and bottoms. So this indicator what it does is it plots the various warms and the various dates when there is moon in nodes on the chart for us so that we have that visual representation on the screen as to what to expect on that particular day. So for example, I have a nifty chart here on the screen and you see that uh, there are two types of markings here. There is a marking which is a brick color marking here and there is a marking which is a purple color marking here. Now these brick color markings are the days when they, there was warm. That is the void of moon was there on these particular days and the purple color marking is the day when we had the moon in nodes. Now another thing which you see you marked on the chart are the full moon and the no moon days. So if you see this uh, white color moon, this shows the full moon day and this gray color moon here shows no moon days. That is uh, the white color moon actually we call it uh, Purnimas and uh, we call this Amavasyas uh, in, in, in Hindi, in India. Similarly the nodes are also marked here. Now how are these worms and uh, nodes useful? I have of course many a times posted few charts where I have shown the importance of the warm and as well as the moon in nodes uh, and we see that various tops and bottom gets formed during this particular time. So here also if you have a look that depending on the number of hours the warm is present in a particular day. For example, if you have a look on the 16th of February here, this was a day when we had a warm and if you see this was a day of the top also, a top got formed here. Similarly, if you see there was another warm which gets formed here and the price actually did not cross this high for the next few days. Then we have another bomb which is formed on the 26th here and we see the price does not break below this particular low. So as you can see that uh, the worms actually provide us an insight into what to expect in the next few days based on the position of the moon. Of course uh, we have plotted all the warm dates here so even if there's a warm which is there only for a maybe half an hour in a day that also has been plotted here. But as per the rules of Nimda TA, worms which are 50% of the day, that means if there is a worm which is around 3 hours in a day are supposed to be the most successful worms. The second what we have plotted here is also the, the moon in nodes, that is whenever the moon is either in Rahu or in Ketu, that those are the times when we see very wild activities on prices that day. This is a time when we see very uh, big swings happening. So this has also been kind of... Uh, marked here uh, so that it gives an idea as to what to expect on that particular day. Another important thing to note here is the new moon and the full moon days. So if you see the historical data on the new moon and full moon days, we find that this also helps us in uh, spotting the highs and the lows. For example here if you see this, is, this was a full moon day and this was almost the top which got formed and then again we have a no moon day here which actually formed the bottom here. Similarly here the full moon day was almost the top here and then again we had the no moon day which almost formed the bottom here. Then again we see the full moon day here actually almost formed the top and then again we had a no moon day here but then it, uh, it went sidewards. And the last which we have had is a, is a full moon here uh, which, which again almost looks like a top and uh, the next no moon day is yet to come here. So we see that the full moon and the no moon days are uh, in fact, uh, also very, very important days to watch out for. So this indicator is a kind of a add-on indicators for the various other indicators which we use because it helps us in making decisions and also helps us in anticipating what is what to expect from the market in the days to come. So I hope you find this indicator useful. Uh, this indicator is available for a subscription. It ties to very uh, economically. So if you're interested to buy this indicator, you can visit the link which is given here. Thank you very much. Happy minting.